Sun Tam is next. Remember, Sun Lam is the parent company of Sun Tam, but we're talking short term and property and casualty and cars and all of that stuff. So this is the market leader in short term insurance here in South Africa. Remember, they invented the multiplex policy with the yellow umbrella all those years ago. Broker distribution is mm -hmm. their key strength. So they've got people in all sorts of little offices around the country who represent their product and get paid commission for selling it to you. Market capitalization, 20.7 billion rand. Price to earnings ratio of 11.73. Dividend yield of 4.27. It has distributed special dividends mm -hmm. in the past. So under somewhat new management with, yes. uh, hang on, no, Ian Kirk, I was no, about to say, because no. he's moved up yes, to correct. Sun Lum. That's right. So Lisa Lumpraps That's is correct. the, yeah. the chief. Yeah. Yeah. So this really does fall firmly within the, the Sun Lum stable. I mean, you're seeing some of the, the management move from Sun Tum, yeah. like in the case of Shares. Ian Kirk, mm. to, to Sun Lum. So it's a bit of a breeding ground, I yeah. think, if you can do a good job. Uh, running Suntime, which is somewhat of a monoline business, I guess, very mm -hmm. strong in short-term insurance to a much more complex beast, which is Sun Lum. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a, a nice business in that it's a pure play uh, on the, the, the short-term insurance space. Some of the other companies, you know, they, they're involved in life yeah. and other things. So I think if you want exposure to the type of business dynamics we've been discussing, this is the way to play it through, through Suntum. Yeah. Very well run operation, uh, good oversight from Sun Lum. Uh, have, as you said, they've generated a lot of capital, so very attractive from a dividend perspective. And interestingly, they are moving beyond the, their solvency sort of limits, what, 35 to 45, they've got more than enough capital. They have been deploying that actually, interestingly, they've made an acquisition in Morocco okay. in a short-term insurer there, yeah. Okay. Shaham. Uh, insurance. Plus they already had certain interests in India, if I'm not mistaken. Huh? Y yes. But now the question I guess I've got to ask you is who manages their money and how well have they done in the current market? Yeah. Because what you're saying is they're very well organized, they write good business, they have a broker network, they've expanded into all of those other business and crop and all that sort of stuff you talk about. So they know what they're doing. They've developed SMS systems to tell you if there's a hailstorm right, coming yes. in your area and all that sort of stuff but how much money are they making in the insurance uh, investment arena and are you expecting them to do poorly in that environment and then I think they've done a good job managing money uh, you know it's within the sort of broader uh, Sunlam stable they do yes. farm out some of the capital yeah. as well but they actually have a strong uh, investment management capability. Yeah. Traditionally, the South African market's been a good place to be, mm -hmm. uh, but they have, if you looked at their recent update, they had diversified also into foreign holdings. Interesting. So they mm -hmm. said the, the, the performance, the investment performance really in line with market and, and has held up somewhat because of the forex exposure. Because if you'd done exposure. that six to nine months ago, you would have benefited from the weaker Absolutely, rand yeah, as a South yeah. African investor. Yeah, so, mm. so I think it's actually held up reasonably well and fairly conservatively managed as Let's well. Let's look at the share insurance. price because um, there's the fall. You can see if you look carefully mm. in December, all of the insurances got killed, insurers got <laughs> killed because of the uh, finance minister dismissal. Then they recovered, but they've given all of that back. Yeah. So this is not a very happy scene. I mean, that's quite a big slide. No, it is. Yeah. So th again, uh, uh, as I said, it's a sort of indication of, of markets. Market uh, concern. Yeah, yeah. Very, very turbulent at the moment. Mm. Uh, obviously, I guess there would be some concern about the, the crop situation. But if you look at that, it's around 2% uh, of their book. Because presumably you only take the crop insurance if you actually plant. That's correct, yes. So, so it's like more like hail and other infestation. It's not just no, like not you don't plant, you don't get to claim, right? That's right, yeah. And actually, because the planting was so late this season, mm. they've actually excluded some of it because if you plant late, it's more susceptible ah. to frost. So there's been a number of exclusions. So they really are managing the risk. Yeah. The motor book uh, makes up about 40% uh, of most uh, South African insurers. So that's really the biggest part. Yeah. Yeah. Just something to point out there is uh, a, lo a lot of the, the claims, obviously, on the motor side would be uh, accident related. And then you need parts uh, mm. to repair those cars. M most parts are, are, are manufactured uh, and imported. Yes. Yes. So, th so yeah, the weak rand is pushing up uh, the, the cost of the claims. Mm. Okay. So, so that's, that's something just to keep mm. a mental note on. Okay. So with the big fall like that, they're cheaper. But are you hot or not? So, mm. so again, this is, I think, Tricky. at the right time in the cycle uh, because I think the underwriting results are going to be good. So there'll be a decent underwriting surplus. So if you want 
a quality business with exposure to the market, maybe at a lower level, mm. it's starting, I think, uh, to look to look somewhat interesting. There's a, a little mm. chance of a special dividend as well, given their the current solvency. Mm. Mm. So I'm going to say hot, notwithstanding yeah, the, the mm. environment. Okay. Mm. I'm quite <laughs> positive on the markets, so I'm going to go with hot as okay. well.